what's up guys and thank you for watching this video uh today's video we're gonna be talking about the motion controller 3 from dji uh this new motion controller has been released for about a week it was released along the gago 3 and the dji avatar 2 and in this video i'm gonna go over how to use it and i'm also gonna cover all the features that are available with the motion controller 3 i hope that you enjoy this video and i hope that you find it very informative Well, right, folks, so let's start this video by going over some of the most basic function on the motion controller 3, uh, starting with how you turn it on. To turn it on, it's very simple. You do have your power button on the side. It does turn on just like any DJI product. And that means you're going to go quick press and second press and hold. And that's how it goes on. And right now it is blinking because I don't have my gago or my avatar to drone on. So it's not bound to anything uh, to turn it off. Uh, same process, quick press, uh, second press, you hold. Uh, now it is off. Uh, charging wise, uh, you do have a USB-C connector in the bottom. And you can charge it pretty much with anything that has a USB-C connector. You can even charge it with your phone charger. Here, you do have a small button under the joystick. Uh, this is the return to home button. And uh, whenever you press this button, your drone gonna return to you in case you don't, for some reason, you decide you don't wanna fly it back to you. Voilà, so uh, with the DJI Motion Controller 3, to start a motor, we're gonna go double click on the orange button. That start our motors. And there is two ways to take off. We can take off either by pushing the orange button and hold it. That's how you take off. And to land, same process, you just push the orange button. And the drone land. Now, there is another way you can also take off. We're gonna start the motor again. Double click, motor starts. Now this time we start using the orange button. We're gonna use the joystick. We're gonna go up. And this is how we take off using the joystick. And you can also land with just the joystick. You're gonna go down and hold it. And eventually, and voila, we have landed. And now, uh, next thing I want to show you is we're going to go back and start our engine, our motor. And I personally like to take off with the joystick because it gives you a little more control. Now, we're just using the joystick. If I go right on the joystick, I drone going to start right. If I go left, we're going to slide left. So, very simple. Now, if I go up on the joystick, Gonna increase our elevation. If I go down, decrease our attitude, or I think I say elevation, decrease our attitude. Now, uh, to roll left or to turn left, what you need to do, some people will do this, don't do this, you're just gonna twist your arm. Actually, right now with the motion controller trick, uh, there is a, I'll say the trigger, it kind of sensor. There's a little sensor in the trigger. So if you're not touching the trigger or you're not squeezing the trigger, you can see me moving my hand, nothing happening. So in order to get the drone to respond to you, you gotta do a small little quiz on the trigger. Now, if not a drone actually recording that I'm touching the trigger. So if I go, this is how I get a left turn. There you go, guys, you just saw me. So you just twist your arm to the left and you're gonna get left hold. And the same way, if you twist your arm to the right, you see, I didn't touch the trigger. Trigger, and now I'm getting a right hold. So, very simple. It's left turn, right turn. Uh, to go up, you can go up either with the joystick, or go down with the joystick, or you can use the trigger, and what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna do this, and now the drone is looking up, and if I squeeze on my trigger, 
not only I'm going forward but I'm also going up increasing my attitude uh, same way if I want to go down squeeze on the trigger and I'll we'll look down now the drone is going forward but in the same time also decreasing the attitude and of course uh, if you want to come back you're going to push on the trigger the drone is going to be flying backward and if you want to go forward of course you're going to push on the trigger the drone is going to fly forward other couple button i want to go over uh, the first one is the scroll wheel uh, the scroll wheel allow you to control your gimbal tilt now uh, the thing about the scroll wheel uh, it doesn't matter which kind of gim uh, tilt you put on the scroll wheel once you take off it's literally going to negate uh, the scroll wheel because the drone is going to be flying using the sensor on the motion uh, controller tray uh this is pretty much something you're going to be using uh selecting what type of acro or easy acro move you want to do when you are flying and uh, next let's talk about the little small dot button you have here and uh, this is your start and stop recording quick push gonna start the recording another quick push gonna stop the recording uh you can also go into photo mode and to go into photo mode you're gonna have to push and hold you got a little, uh, little two beep. That means that I am into photo mode. And I'm going to do this and show you the way it look on my phone. Uh, because once you go into photo mode, the recording pretty much stop. Because you're just going to be taking photo. Every time you press on it, you're going to be taking photo. So I have my phone connected to my Gago via USB cable. And I'm going to show you the way the picture function work. So I'm going to push the recording button and hold it and every time you go into picture mode you're gonna get the full screen and now if i want to take a picture i'm gonna click on it all right so another thing i want to show you is that you are able to actually access your menu uh using the gago 3 and using your motion controller tree now to access the menu uh, you're gonna just put the pointer to the slide down or drop down uh, sign the little orange triangle or the little triangle I don't know what I say orange and you're gonna just squeeze on it and that gonna give that gonna open your menu and of course you got all the different menu uh, later on you do have a tracking that's why you act activate a tracking uh, you do have I AZ Echo, that's why you activate AZ Echo. And uh, this is for your defog, and that is for uh, sending uh, your video uh, to your phone using the Fly app. And with this, you don't have to use your USB C cable. And to come out of this menu, only thing you have to do on your motion controller tree is push away on your trigger, that pull it away. Uh, one thing you can also do and actually i'm gonna take off so you can see that uh this actually also work when you are up in the air so we're gonna go double click and the reason i'm taking off is simply that uh the vtx on the drone get out pretty fast uh if you know flying and now what i'm going to do i'm going to do a quick press on the orange button that puts the drone into uh pause mode i'll call it it kind of still mode and once you're in still mode even though i was flying now i'm able to go into my menu and change my any function i would like to now i'm going to go in the main menu my pointer is on it i'm going to squeeze on the trigger now i have access to some of the menu you don't have access to all of them when you're flying we're going to go into setting we're going to go into controller and we're going to go into motion controller and now here you can change some of the uh, option on your controller we're going to wait for this car to pass now what i'm going to do now i'm going to go into gain and tuning and here you actually have the option to change your speed 
on uh, are the drone going to be responding on your on your motion uh, controller inputs and for example you got your ladder of flight and you got you can see that actually I have most of mine I think are pretty much maxed out and what I'm gonna do I'm just gonna hit the reset button it's gonna ask me yes and this is uh, putting everything back to default so you got option to change your speed in normal mode or manual mode but for this video we're just gonna stay in normal mode uh, with the motion controller you do not have access to manual mode I think spot mode I don't know why I say manual mode you don't have access to manual mode and of course to come out of this and uh, you do have uh, RC calibration I would usually don't mess with it uh, if the drone feel like you need to calibrate anything it will actually let you know to do the calibration and to come out of this page you just push away on a trigger uh, that is pretty much it and to come out of the menu function uh, we're gonna do another quick press on the orange button, the power button. There we go. And now we have back control of our drone, so we can go. And you see that mine right now it's going kind of slow uh, because I lower the speed. But if you feel like uh, the speed is too slow, you can always go and change change it in the menu uh, in general uh, normal mode has a much lower speed than sport mode and I think in normal mode whoop, there's an horse right here I didn't mean to scare you RC in normal mode whoop, now we're gonna go down using a little joystick in normal mode uh, max speed is 28 kilometer in sport mode, the max speed is uh, 56 kilometer, kilometer, so it goes much faster in sport mode than it goes in manual mode. I mean, in normal mode. Why am I stuck with manual mode in my head? Uh, now, to go into uh, easy aggro, and I'm pretty sure it won't let me do it when I'm flying, let's see, or when I'm recording. And we got easy aggro. Yeah, recording and uh, recording is going on, so I cannot access easy aggro. So I'm gonna come and land, and we're gonna go over easy aggro. Oh, I got I have easy aggro on, and you can see it on the side. It does say slide, uh, 180 drift, or a flip. Now the thing about easy aqua it is only available when you are in normal mode if you go in sport mode uh, easy aqua function does not work and to change uh, which move you can do we can only do one move at a time for right now it's in slide and that's the default easy aqua uh, slide is actually i would say it's not really a move because you can do slide just using your joystick you don't need to be in easy code to get slide if you're starting uh, slide to slide I mean sliding side to side now uh, using a little scroll or dial button you can go down to 180 and I'm gonna show you 180 what 180 does and if you just use your stick the joystick this is the 180 and it will keep going for a little while let me I think I stopped moving my trigger so we're gonna do another slide here so we can get an idea uh, what slide does is just a little flip so and I'm gonna move my joystick to the right uh, this is the slide move uh, very basic it's nothing uh, crazy amazing but that is a nice function because this was not available with the motion controller too so that is slide and now if i go down on my uh, scroll dial i go to flip and now what's gonna happen every time you can do either flip if i move my joystick forward you get a slick uh flip if i go right flip to the right side if i go left flip to the left side if i go backward flip backward so uh this is something i mean it's a little gimmicky but uh it kind of show us uh what it's 
possible with the motion controller uh, but and again I would say if you really want to get full control of the drone you're gonna have to get the motion controller 3 uh, for right now I do have the motion controller 2 I'm not planning on buying the motion controller 3 and I'm hoping I'm hoping uh, in an upcoming month or week DJ may release a firmware that will make uh, the motion controller 3 able to bind with the Avada 2 um, Avada 3 Avada 2 <laughs> I don't know what I'm talking about but I think that is pretty much everything I has to show you guys uh, let me go down in case you have any more question and you can always ask me um i'll be glad to answer any of your question but as you may see uh, the motion controller 3 it's i like it it is a nice uh, little change it is fun to fly with it it is not as great as a actual transmitter but the one thing about it is that you can literally give it to anybody, someone that has no experience with drone, and I would say within 10 to 5 minutes they should be able to fly it. I think I kind of cover everything that I needed to cover for this video. And as usual guys, uh, don't forget to hit the like button, and don't forget to subscribe, and feel free to share this video with anybody you want to. Thank you for watching guys.